Aloha and welcome to my channel. I searched for years to find a family van within my budget. And I found this 2005 Toyota Sienna with 92,000 miles. So come along with me, hit that like and subscribe button and we're gonna get this van ready for the road. Now in my last video, I had planned on doing the timing belt first because the previous owner could not recall if he ever changed it. Now that's important because the 2005s have an interference engine, so if the belt goes, there's a good chance it'll total your engine. Now time belts are only good for 9 years or 90,000 miles, so I was way overdue. And I called around to different shops, which took a while, so in the meantime, I fixed the other things that came up. And this video will be all about the timing belt and what I experienced getting quotes. I spent a fair amount of time calling around and getting estimates on the work I wanted, which I wanted to be comprised of the timing belt, water pump, alternator belt, power steering belt, two cam seals, one crank seal, plus fluid and labor. And I'll also include the names and locations for those who are local and are looking for work done. First I called Roy's in Kalihi and there was no answer. Moved on to Kanyoi Auto Care and they actually gave me a quote over the phone for $1,415, which sounded right in the ballpark. Then I called RNS, which is located in Kapa'a Quarry on the windward side. They were pretty hard to get in touch with. I had to call a few times. When I did get in touch with them, the lady explained that they were short staffed and all booked up. And they said to bring it down to get an estimate. So when I eventually called, called back, I just could never get through again. So I tried a few more times, and I even tried an email, and unfortunately, I just never got that estimate with them. The next two was recommended by family friends. Alexander Automotive is on South King, right before Kamaki High School. I had to take the van down to them for an estimate. I did and gave me an estimate a few days later came out to $1,700 then I called Kaimaki Auto Repair which is on Wailai Ave after Sacred Hearts Academy the first time I called a girl took my message and said she would check with her text and get back to me she called me back and said it was going to be around $1,100 <laughs> you can imagine I was pretty happy about that so I told her I would call her back to schedule a day to bring it in and I said, ah, to hell with it. I already called five places. Why not try Toyota Surfco? So I called Windward Surfco. And the guy said, oh, the parts are going to be about $1,100. And that he'll check on labor. Well, he got back on the phone and said the total is going to be $2,200. Actually, $2,250. And I laughed and I said, okay, okay. Does it come with a loaner car? And he said, you bet. Now, I could have worked this in my favor and asked what kind of loaner car, but that was just way too much for me, so I just said thank you. So we're back to calling Kamki Auto Repair. This time I spoke to Alan, the owner. Older gentleman, very nice. I told him what I wanted done and that I had called previously and gotten a quote for $1,100. He said, oh, that was my daughter. I'll need to check on it myself. Which is not the best sign you want to hear, right? He got back on the phone and said it would be 1180 plus tax. Well, that was still cheaper than the first place, right? So I made an appointment. And I had to arrange a ride to drop it off, all that stuff. I met him and even gave him my notes with his own estimate on top. And left it with him. Now they finished in about a day and called me to say it was ready. Arranged another ride, went and picked it up, went to pay. Uh, and he said, well, it's going to be $1,550. And I said, hey, you said 1180 over the phone. He said, I did? Well, uh, I can't remember that. I said, we talked about it when I dropped it off and I gave you the paper. He said, oh, I don't have the paper anymore. And I said, well... What are we going to do then? 
So he went in the back to run some numbers, came back out and said, okay, I discounted some things for you. So in the end, I ended up paying $1,424 or $1,424 and 19 cents. And I'll just round that up to $1,425, which was an increase of about $240 from my original quote. Now, I don't like to badmouth anyone, but I do like to share my experiences so people are aware. I was a little disappointed that I paid more, but I was glad that the work was done and that it was from a recommended shop. And it was about the same price as the first quote I got. Therefore, I'll just leave it at that. Now, if you choose to go anywhere, including there, I would suggest getting your quote in writing before you leave your vehicle at a shop. The next thing I have planned for the van is to take care of two Toyota recalls, along with a bunch of other things. That video should be up soon, and you can click right here for more. If you're just joining us now, click here to learn the van's history from the very beginning. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like and subscribe to keep the story going. Until we meet again, aloha.